Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be in a Premier League position video, but today it's going to be a different video, which you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. But anyway guys, let's go straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, you're a big fan from that you enjoy. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So, obviously cancelling the Premier League and the EFL. Not cancelling it, just postponing it. Maybe for just 10 days, which if I did this the very first day when fans were saying it, it would have been... Boxing Day next time they play, which is the big footballing feast of football. But anyway, I'm just going to make this video because I do think it needs to be postponed for the time being. And this is why. There's been 11 games called off in the Premier League so far. And there's been 18 games called off in the EFL so far. Which altogether makes it 29 games called off. And I've just got the fixtures here um, for the Premier League for the time being. Brentford, Man United, Brighton, Spurs, Brighton, Chelsea, that Brighton, Chelsea one don't actually come into it, that's due to Chelsea playing in the Super Cup um, in May I think, so that's got nothing to do with it. So that's just one game for Brighton at this present in time, but there is two. Uh, Burnley, Spurs, Burnley, Watford, Chelsea, Arsenal, Everton, Leicester, Leicester, Spurs, May night Brian, that game got called off literally yesterday and it was one of them games that Brian fans were expected to be called off. Southampton, Brentford, Watford, Crystal Palace, West Ham, Norwich. Now, there's a lot of questions about should Brian have played against Wolverhampton. I know a lot of you Brian fans do from me on YouTube and my social medias. I do think it should have gone ahead. I mean, we did only have four players out with COVID, whereas May night basically said... They got all the players out of COVID. They've only got seven available squad players, which obviously you can't play with. There's been another big outbreak as well at Spurs. Their game got called off against us. That's supposed to be played midweek, and it didn't come up because of the COVID outbreak. And yet, they're supposed to be playing again this weekend. I think it should be called off purely for the matter of fact of. You know, there's people's health at stake at this time. Um, otherwise, you're going to see the end of the season or a pat schedule of games. But the one big problem is, and I can understand why the Premier League ain't calling it off, and that goes for the EFL also, is because of the 2022 Qatar World Cup, which is based in September. So, well, as last year... You know, when, when we did postpone it, and we postponed it for around about, I think it was about three or four months, if I remember correctly, it could be more than that, it could be less, is we started back, I think it's the third week in May we started back, I played all the way through June, if I remember, and then, you know, we had that break. But we cannot do that break this time around, it's because of the 2022 Qatar World Cup. Which I can obviously understand where the Premier League and the EFL is coming from. But if it's going to be like this, just might as well just call it all off. And then let's see where we are in maybe 10 days time. What would you like to see? Would you like it to be called off or, um, you know, postponed for the time being? As I said, there is just five fixtures both be playing this weekend in the Premier League. I'm just going to tell you a bit more about the EFL games that have been called off. Um, and it really is shocking um, how many games have been called off and yet I still want to play you know the EFL in the Premier League big boys still want to play their games Cardiff Derby County have been called off Coventry Stoke City Millwall Preston North End QPR uh, Swansea Town Reading Luton Town that's the championship uh, League One, it gets a bit more tougher than that. Wimbledon, Portsmouth, Bolton, Wickham, Burton, Albion, MK Dons, Gillingham, Crew Alexander, Lincoln, Doncaster, Sheffield Wednesday, Accrington, Stanley. That's uh, League One. League Two, now, hold on. League Two have only got one, two, I think three fixtures playing out of. Um, 12 games and games that have been called off Carlisle, Bro uh, Bradford Colchester, Hartlepool, Crawley Town Oldham, Forest Green Mansfield, Northampton Town Borough 
Portfell, Exeter, Scunthorpe, Bristol Rovers, and Sw Swindon Town versus Walsall. So, as I said, there's been 18 games called off in the BFL so far, and only 11 in the Premier League, but surely it's going to be more in the Premier League. Now, I'm just going to go and have a look at the Boxing Day fixtures because United have got a big outbreak. Who are they supposed to be playing? They're not on Boxing Day. Brighton, Brentford, that kick off the joke. So, May United are supposed to be going up to Newcastle on the 27th of December, which is the next sort of fixtures due to be played. Will it happen? Uh, we're going to have to wait and see, but I can't see that game going ahead either. Um, but then you've also got to think of the fans' perspective. I mean, us uh, Brighton fans were supposed to become Man United, as I said earlier. It's way too risky for travelling fans to travel 400 odd miles to get to Manchester and just see a game of football. Um, I'm just going to have a look at some of these other games as well uh, that have been called off. Um, so Brentford's supposed to be coming down to Southampton. Yet again, way too risky. Um, that Leicester Spurs was supposed to be midweek. And yet again, that's just way too risky for fans. I mean, I even find it a bit risky Wolves fans coming down to Brighton for that Premier League game. And you can catch the vlog up on my channel. And you may not agree that I did go, but, you know, that's up to you. But at the minute, Brighton got three catch-up games. Burnley have got two, I think. Yes, they have. Um, Spurs have got how many have Spurs got? They got three all the way from home as well. Um, but it's just a big joke to me at this present time. Need to at least give it a 10 day off period and let's see where we are. But I'm gonna bring this video to an end. So it's not what you were probably expected. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.